Welcome to Informatica Video TV series. Uh, this is Sandeep. Uh, today we are going to discuss on how to move data from Salesforce to Azure Data Lake Store. On the agenda, we uh, have uh, two connections which we are using, which is a Salesforce connection, and which is the uh, other one is a Azure Data Lake Store connection. So in Azure Data Lake, we have connectivity options for both Gen One and Gen Two. So uh, I hope this you already have a. Uh, Informatica ISCS organ organization created already. Uh, once you log in, you will see a uh, different services uh, window. You can choose data integration. Once you choose data integration, you will see an option saying new. Click on new and you will see an option uh, of creating a mapping here. So once you create mapping, you get a new canvas which you can use to create your uh, mapping to Salesforce to Lake Store. I already have a created mapping and so I'll be using that. So uh, going to the connectivity options for uh, Salesforce and Lake Store. So with Salesforce we have uh, connectivity uh, of different type as standard and OAuth. Uh, you just need to provide the username and password. Uh, the security token is not provided here because the if you if you wish to whitelist uh, the cloud IP addresses on Salesforce then you need not provide your security token in the connection service URL uh, this is particularly for production organization uh, if it's a sandbox the organization the URL changes and uh, this is it on the Salesforce connection uh, coming to the gen 2 uh, this is a lake store connection for gen 2 uh, it's pretty straightforward you need to provide the account name client ID client secret the tenant ID and the file system name uh, defined on your instance and uh, the endpoint if it's a co.windows.net uh, or uh, certain government uh, endpoints coming to the gen 1 connection it's pretty straightforward you give the account name the client ID client secret and the authorization endpoint so let's go to the map creation of mapping task and if you see this is a created mapping task already here and we're using a salesforce to lake store uh, mapping and this mapping you need to choose the connection that you have created in your uh, administrator tab uh, once you create you need to select the account object which you want to use once you have done that you have uh, options of choosing the API so we have standard and bulk API and also you can limit the number of rows you need to process and uh, under the source type you have uh, single object multiple objects and query going to the data lake store uh, you just need to select the connection that you have created for your uh, instance respect uh, like if it's a gen 1 you have can choose your gen 1 connection if you're gen 2 it's, you can choose the gen 2 connection uh, then you can select an object uh, selecting an object you will get an option to do a uh, create new at runtime or an existing object you can navigate across folders to fit to the right uh, to, to load the right uh, folder you want you need to select the formatting options you want currently we have support delimited avro parquet and uh, json and org files and once you do this you'll see the target fields from the source and you can just save it uh, and i've created a mapping task out of it uh, you get an option in this up here you can just say a new mapping task and then mapping task would be just using the same mapping which you have created and then you can just choose the agent which you want to use and uh, run the task so once you run the task uh, you can see this is loaded 16 records to your lake store and um, this is pretty much uh, on the demo on the mapping run let's go back to the slide um, so this is a document on uh, the lake store connections on off to improve performance if you wish to take a look and just have a look uh, this is pretty much it thank you